Hunter. I'm Rebecca. I'm Caitlin. Hi, Nessa. This is the Family Show. Hello. <laughs> oh, we got that. We got the mic showing. <gasps> How unprofessional! Oh my gosh! Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Good evening. Welcome, shenanigans. Pay no attention to the mic behind the screen. <laughs> Is that gonna bug you? That bugs you. It's so funny. Hello. Hello. I already seeing people popping up in the Time chat. Time for the variety show. <laughs> it's so funny, Kabuki. It's weird to see you on at the beginning. <laughs> after you, after. Dice Tower did all those chats. She'd hop in like half an hour in because that was when their Dice Tower show would quit. It's funny. Now now you're here. It's cool. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Yay! Hello, Joseph and Bill. No, I think they're doing a, I think they're doing um Dice what? Tower's doing live playthroughs now. During our time? How dare they? They're randomly in the evening. I don't How know. How dare they? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to our variety show. We do a variety of things. We do. We have a, a a not as full agenda this evening. That's okay. Every once in a while, kind of need that. Not as full agenda, but we're we're, in a, we're in, it's going to be chock full of fun though. <laughs> chock full. We cram the fun in there. So we played a whopping two. Dense. So we always start off our show with. I keep forgetting we got intros now. You do. We're all fancy. So, this what? time around, it's kind of like, what didn't we play? <laughs> Everything! No, no. <laughs> so, we only played two games. Two games in two weeks makes Hunter a sad panda. Two games. Yeah. Two games. Two games. Two okay, games in two weeks. it's been kind of a lull. It's been kind of a lull. <sighs> it's been a bit chaotic. Yeah, we'll see. All right. So, Ooh. as always, I rate the games from worst to best, but now it's just worst and best, because there's only two of them. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so we played crap. The worst and, and the best. <laughs> wow. All hey right. guys. So we played a round of po 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 potion. Po po potion. Po 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 potion explosion. With, that, with Nessa. Nessa. No, we played it with Caitlin. Oh, we played with Caitlin. We used to play with Nessa. Yeah. Yeah, we played with Caitlin this time. Yeah, Nessa was our uh, Nessa was our, our, our bum this last time. So we played, this we played first game Caitlin. we played with Caitlin. And a while, because she's been kind of like, a while. not in the mood to play much. She's, that, and... she's in that teenage years. Oh, I know, those teenagers. Those so we played Potion Explosion, family favorite. We love it. Move on. No. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a blasty blast. It was good. You kind of destroyed us I annihilated them. Yeah, Katie, I was Katie, Katie was off her game. Katie was off her game a little bit. I was the she potioner was this time around. I got some good combos. You did. You had some ridiculous combos. So, so there's a lot of fun. potion explosion. It's kind of like bejeweled, <laughs> where you pick up marbles and they, they same colors touch, they explode like in bejeweled. It is very bejeweled. And you use those to build tactile, potions, and it. the potions give you superpowers, and there you go, potion. And it's fun. I don't know. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like to play the little games on the app. In fact, I've been playing one on the, the Switch off and on, but this, I don't know. There's just something about having a 3D tactile play the potion explosion bejeweled-esque stuff. It's, it's cool. The, it's, it's, it's very, like it's very, if you like, uh, like you said, if you want to like messing with bits, this is the game for you, man. It is. It is. And it's, it's easy to put together. It's, and it's not one of those, yeah, there's a lot of pieces to the game, but you just scoop up the marbles and dump them in a bag. It's not like you have to organize a bunch of things and, ugh, I love that. This is... We have the original cardboard version. And it's still in good shape. Miraculously. <laughs> If you get it nowadays, if you're like in... The, yes, well, plastic? It's plastic. Plastic now? Yes. Anyway, there you go. Potion Explosion. I gave it a 7, which is good for a family game. That's my, that's my go... If it's a solid family weight game, it's got a kind of a glass ceiling at a 7. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Wow! That, that means this is Z a 10. bought 7 games. I, I need to get I need to up my game, literally. <laughs> No, you're done today. <laughs> we'll have a discussion. In fact, actually, Joseph kind of brings up the topic, too, about the thunderous entrance of Bruges and Macau. And I'm like, yeah. I'm sure you'll be discussing that. Oh, yeah. I'll make a little note to talk about that. Yeah. That's a that's a good one. I'll make a note about that. I've been spending a lot on Kickstarters lately. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
that was the only one I knew about. So, where's the little button for the what Hunter secretly bought on Kickstarter thing? <laughs> we'll go through my Kickstarters. I'll do, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll go, just go through what Kickstarters I've backed lately. Now we got to know what Dean bought, too. <laughs> All right, and the other game we played, which was the best of the, of the two. Rebecca didn't like this one so much. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Well, I will explain. Cyclody. So, uh, a friend of mine who is in the military did something really strange. He basically, basically he's like, he's like in one area for like six months and then another area six months. So he buys a bunch of games and then gets rid of them. And then when he goes to his other base, he buys more games and gets rid of them. Which Actually, is... that's not a bad idea. If you're not a collector, <laughs> why would you cart that junk around? So I, I, I helped him out by buying some of his games. Little do I know, this person does not know how to treat games very well. This game, <laughs> this game looks like some 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 teenager owned it. It's got apparently they put he put a smaller box on top of a, this box and completely <laughs> caved the top of the box. Oh, whatever. It's I don't so care. Long. I don't care. But anyway, it's I've never I've never long. played sick with these. I've always wanted to play it, and so since he was selling it, I said, okay, it's the double whammy. Help him out, and we get to try out. The game. I get to try out the game. I loved it. Well, I didn't love it. I liked it a lot. Rebecca, on the other like hand, Rebecca, on the other hand, okay, <laughs> I can see that this is a really good game. It's just that I am not into a like full on Amerithrash. Does yeah, this, that make this sense? is very attacky. Like, this is insanely attacky, but I could see it for what it was, which is it's a really good game. It's just that I'm not crazy about this type of game. As far as this type of game goes, I would put this near the top. Of yeah, it's a, it's a really solid Amerithrash. I would honestly, put, it, it's it's uh, it's, it's, good it's not game. completely Amerithrash. It's more like a Blood Rage kind of hybrid type game. No, it's more thrashy than Blood Rage. Quite a bit. Yeah, fights all the time in Blood Rage. We had like three fights the whole game. But you spend half of your turn fiddling with cards and stuff. This you attack and you plan your attack. Don't even. So it's an area control game with attacky bits. It's, it's area control and it's attacking. Auctioning. I guess bidding. Not auctioning. Bidding. You bid for actions. <laughs> it's a cool little game. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, but not with Rebecca. <laughs> I give it an 8 just because she brought it down. It was, it was oh my gosh! You let people bring down your opinion of games? <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> More on this discussion. Hey, we do have a we do have an expansion. A, Paul said to get the expansions. We do Ooh. have one. We have the Hades expansion apparently. See, I marked it. Hades expansion. <laughs> we have not tried that yet. We haven't tried that, and we probably won't with Rebecca because she's Rebecca. Care hey, bear. At least I admit. Care Bear. What's wrong with freaking euros? <laughs> oh, we're gonna oh, we're gonna have this discussion. Is that what this week's gonna be? All right, we'll have a little uh, fa uh, two-player showdown coming up then. Huh? Marathrash versus uh, Euro. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. We'll, yeah. I'll win. So that's all we got. Just two games. Bye. <laughs> the family that slays together stays together. All right. <laughs> you pretty Put that much, away. Pretty much. Because it's time. A good game, okay? It's time. I don't want to listen to him. It's time for... Is. <laughs> That's really random. You're on mic. I can hear you talking. I know. How unprofessional. <laughs> As you keep talking over the mic, I love this. This is the best night ever. All right. We still only have. I gotta keep track. We keep adding bookshelves to this house. All right. So. Someone already said 78. So use that. Oh, Nick, you're the. Best. Thank you. You just saved me so much. 78, huh? One, two, three. We're going to be here a minute. No, I'm just kidding. Um, mm, I like how you ask for numbers and you just pick out a game. It's, it's random. Sometimes I use the numbers. Sometimes I don't. You never know. It's random. What part of the random don't you understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. What are you doing? Pick a game. I know. I'm trying. So you're getting a game from one number? I like this. this is I nice. am. I like this a lot, too. This was good. <laughs> Should do this QE style? Oh. One quintillion. Brilliant. Brilliant idea. Can you hand me Blackout?
We just we just talked about this game. Somewhat. We played it and we talked about it recently. No, I yeah. veto. What? It's random. No, it's not random. You we, suck. we we talked about last last two weeks ago. We talked about that game. We've talked about all these games. Everybody knows all our games. Let's see. Let's do uh, Dice Forge. Get it. Am I, am I your lackey now? Yes. <laughs> this is my show. I didn't even notice. Is our is our construction stuff in the in the frame? It looks like it is. Hope not. If not, is. well, you can see all the bookshelves. There you go. Thank you, assistant. <laughs> this is good. Okay, so. Those are the box backs mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll fix that. Welcome to Dice Forge. Okay, this game, I really like it because it's a deceptively. I don't want to say it's almost light in a way. It's a medium weight game, but that's not medium weight. It's on the lighter side. No, you and your you <laughs> you are not All allowed right. to say if a game's heavy or not. We've already determined this, haven't we? So, what's cool about this game is it's got this huge gimmick. If you don't know about Dice Forge, oh my, uh oh, uh oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's all right. The whole point of Dice Forge is actually in the title. You are forging your own dice. You are creating dice. What's cool about this is, and I have no fingernails. I have a yeah, thing. you gotta, they're in here. Oh, they're in here. So, um, by the way, A plus on packaging for this game. This, everything fits and it's got it all kind of like pre-set up and all this and that and it's in here, honey. They're in here. Yeah, but now you have the poppy. You want the thing to pop yeah, it open. Yeah, you use the other pieces. Oh, you're right. That's you're what's right. cool you're, about you're this. Right, so right. this is the dice. And yeah, they look big and they look kind of clunky. But there's a purpose for that. What's neat about these is that, and Hunter's about to show you, the game is kind of set up and ready to go once, once you obviously pop all the stuff out. But it's got everything set up. And these are nigh indestructible, and I love it. Because I thought, okay, these are sticker. They look like they're stickered on. They're not. And you take pieces of the other ones, and you use them, and you just kind of... And I, I didn't even put hardly any pressure, and it went flying. And you take these off, and you upgrade these little bits. So right now, like, this die has one gold. You can upgrade it, and you've got... It looks like, wow, you can get up to... Um, golds or golds looks like three is the there's a six. There's a six gold, yeah. So you can get some crazy gold on here. There's there's all the different resources that you're going to get, and you're rolling these, and you have to you know accomplish certain buy things cards. and buy cards and stuff and upgrade and get your victory points and win the day, that kind of thing. But it's amazing because these pieces again, real hard plastic. They look small or they look like they might be fragile. These are like Legos to me. They've got to be made out of the same indestructible materials probably what they do dig this out of wakanda somewhere i mean this stuff is insane <laughs> like what but it's it's one of those crazy indestructible die and at first i was like oh this is so big and clunky but nowadays i mean big and clunky was kind of like the cool thing anyway and these dice faces are so unique and fun and it what's interesting about this game is by the time you feel like you're really getting going, the game is like over. It is a really quick game. Almost too quick. We've played it a little longer than it says to, just to play more because it's that much fun and it's fun to build up the engine and get it going. And uh, do they have expansions Yeah, for this? I think so, but we, have, we haven't bought We them. haven't gotten it, yeah. It may be worth doing. I haven't researched anything about that. But it is, it's all about forging your die and it's basically like your engine. You have these dice that you're trying to upgrade and, and get so that every roll you get is really good. So you get those resources and build up and win. So it's, yeah, big and clunky is the new cute and small Nathan is right. I think that's that's pretty true. Yeah, Nick, the, those dice faces, all of them pop off and you just upgrade them. And I love it. Love it. Um... So that's Dice Forge. It's nice and, and again, and oh, I didn't. Uh, 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 uh. I was gonna show the board real quick to explain something. No, you cannot talk about the back of the box. <laughs> yes, because I'm not talking about the back of the box. I wouldn't. That's my domain. You got your random reviews. I, I was going to talk about the, the board, box. the different regions, and oh. 
And you know what, Mary? You are correct. You build the dice, so it's your fault if you roll crap. I love that because you're so cheap. All right, let's take a look at this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, this is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. We do have um, some block text going on over here. Uh-oh, is it a story? Block text here. Is it now, a see, story? The, the, this top part, see this little bit right here? That's fine. It says, congratulations and welcome to the realm of, to the, of the gods. Your courage and intelligence have led you to us, but this is just the beginning. Perfect. Then we got block text. Always in search of entertainment to stave off bored and the gods are... No. No. What? What? No. The gods are bored? Yes. They're hosting a I'm grand bored. tournament. Listening to them. What? Alright, yeah. so, not so much this part. But then we got little blurbs. <laughs> I like the blurbs. Heroes roll their dice to gain resources and spend the resources acquired die faces to upgrade their dice. Great. Got a picture of how the dice work? Look at that. Look at that. Tells you how the dice work here. Perfect. Got the whole game laid out for you to see. Wonderful. Random, random, random drawing over here. I'm not sure what that's all about, but that's okay. Then we got we got the contents down here. I love it when it says the contents. Nice. So we can take inventory from the back of the box. I'm not seeing stats. Dude, who reads stats? That's no, the, the the oh, they're on the side. On the side should be on, should be on the back also, but it's on the side. So that's only minus. So minus no stats on the back and block text. I give it a B. So that's a math plus. It's a B. Math plus. B's not bad. So it's math. B's good. No, math C. You have there's the official. Now you know. B's good. This is good. Nathan, you trying to like shame us or something? What's up? He's like, wow, 125 people watching the Overpower stream. That's actually low for the Dice Tower, so, huh. <laughs> All right, that's it for Rebecca's Random Review Back Box Review. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, the reason I'm kind of rushing things along because... Why? You're going to get a live play tonight, and Rebecca doesn't even know about it. Oh, dear me. So, we're going to oh, we're no. just zipping along to get to that live play. <laughs> so, now, <laughs> now it's time... Hold on. <laughs> I always gotta look at this. I need to memorize these. Alright, here we go. <laughs> it's unboxing time. Dean bought some games. Guess what? I bought some games too. Is it as many as Dean? One, two, yeah. Well, maybe. If you count expansions, yeah, I may have gotten as many as Dean. Oh, dear. You two should be separate. So, I got, I got a story. Apparently, I got tell you. I got to tell you a story. <laughs> so, story time. Oh, no. So, pull, pull out your popcorn. Grab your easy chair. Story time. So, here, here's what happened. <laughs> so, so my birthday comes around every year. Every year. It's almost my birthday. It does. It's almost my birthday. Your birthday comes around? Five days. Imagine five that. days until my birthday. <laughs> so Rebecca always goes online and goes to my Amazon account and buys stuff. Because you have it all set up to do the smile. She uses my, and you're like, you can't look at email. You can't do anything. Even though there's always pops up. Hey, your package is on the way. Blah, blah, blah. So, so this year, there was a game I really wanted. So I put it in a cart and just left it there for her. Because I knew she ended up going out to Amazon. And so she bought it. No, you, you don't know anything. So she bought it. <laughs> and this game's been out of print for, like, forever. But I found it on Amazon. I'm like, cool. So I put it in the cart. Then, like, the next day, Cool Stuff got it in stock for $20 less. So I, I, I stealthily went out to Amazon and canceled the order <laughs> and bought it at Cool Stuff. Yeah. But. And then, this is why no one's surprised by their birthday. But the thing about cool stuff is you need a hundred dollars worth of games. <laughs> oh god! To get free shipping, so now I had to add on some games to my birthday game to get to the hundred dollars. This is also why I don't listen to anybody when so they're talking about budget for the birthday. You have birthday. to spend money to save money. You know, again, I feel like this is role reversal. I really do. It's not usually like <laughs> so. These these, the these games these right games there. are what we call free shipping. <laughs> Because I pulled that is ludicrous. I I I had I, I had Nessa pull I out my birthday game that I didn't know about and scurry it off to the hidden ga birthday place, and the remaining games are the free shipping. So let's see what we got for free shipping. 
Good lord. <laughs> Alright, is this, this is free shipping? No, this, this. I told you the order to do this. Uh, you know, I, I don't even remember what, oh, <gasps> you got it! This is free shipping. <laughs> and, this is what we're going to play tonight. Oh, is it really? I've wanted to play this game. It we're going to play cool. this game tonight. Yes! So wavelength, well, I'll talk about it later. When okay, we, cool. When cool. We'll when I teach you how to play. Okay, I'm very excited. We're gonna play that later. Okay. Ooh, this is free shipping too. Well, the game was only fifty dollars, so I had to spend fifty dollars. <laughs> but look at all the money I saved in shipping. <laughs> this is this is what I hear. Okay, I'm just saying. Oh no, no, no. He does the budget. As long as it doesn't go over budget, we're good, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. Uh, oh, no, I, I watched some videos some on this. Book cooking on this math here. We uh, we called Imperial Settlers for many reasons. Apparently, this version gets rid of those many reasons. So this makes it more of a board game and more of a gamer game. Oh, I'm so excited because I like the other And it fixes a one. lot of the stuff that we didn't like in <laughs> Imperial Settlers. We didn't like blowing up buildings. We hated when our buildings got blown up. In this game, they just get sometimes. In this game, they just get exhausted, so you don't get to use them. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted and listening to your, your resources logic. don't go away at the end of the round. Logic. You get to carry your resources over and build up and do things rather than just dealing with what you have each round. Uh -huh. And uh, you can send little ships off to do things. Wait, wait, wait. Are they going off to do heroic deeds and die somewhere? No. Or is this no, they're going they're... off to uh, get you cards. Oh, okay, okay. I just love it when games tell you they're doing still heroic a tableau deeds builder and like they the never game. come back. I'm like, that's dark. It's got a cool action selection system. There's a lot of things. I, uh, it sounds really good, so there you go. Well, isn't this the one, too, that like Z super loves? Yes, it gave it a 10 too? out of 10. Oh, dude. He always picks cool stuff like that, so. All right. All right. So that's... That's uh that's first story. Now we now we now we don't have an we have an, we have an intermission. <laughs> Hunter buys in bulk to save money. Yeah, it's like it's like when you buy when you go to like Sam's or uh, Costco. That's what I do with board games. So last time it's a good thing you don't have a physical last time we did cart. an unboxing, we unboxed our stuff that we got from the Virtual Con, and this was one of the things we got. Was a oh yeah, I wanted to give you guys crap about that too because I said, hey, speaking of. Dinosaur Island, blah, Not Dinosaur blah, Island. Or Draftosaurus. Draftosaurus, and then I never brought it up again. Right. No one called me so out So some on of it. the stuff was off to the side, and we didn't talk about it, so we're going to talk about it real quick. La -da -da. Draftosaurus. Made in a nice smooth bag that won't make Hunter go, blah, every time he touches oh, it. Oh, man. He doesn't like those, those felt velvety, bags. weird it's bags. Felt, it's oh. the felt, felt and velvety bags, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Anyway, no, this is what we got. We got like a, a credit. Uh, we got some credit to be. Oh yeah, to do the, the virtual con stuff. That was cool, by the way. I, and I, that so was we fun. bought this, and if we bought those, and then we bought these. Of course, now they're like moot. More on that later, right? No. This oh is, no. This is Castles of Burgundy. Oh yeah, my bad. It's still in print. I keep thinking Bruges, which is cards. I'm dumb. Don't mind me. But look at all the pretty shiny colors, and they're nice, silky little soft bags too. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. So there's why, Castle Burgundy bags. Why not, I say. Same logic as I spent 50 plus dollars on games to save shipping. Same logic. Same logic. There's no logic. Okay. Third, yeah. So in story <laughs> time number two. So, uh... No, they're satin. They feel like satin. The Morgan Geek every year at their conventions do does a charity auction. Woo -woo. And I almost always, without fail, try to participate in the charity auction. This year it was online, but they also did a charity auction. So I bought something. I bought some stuff. Is this some of the stuff here? This is all the stuff. Oh, okay. Woo -woo. So it, ga it came with Onitama. We already have Oni Onitama. So this is going to be a giveaway or, or a sell or I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think you should give it Probably going to give it away at our next convention meetup. Whenever that is. So this it is, is everything for Onitama other than promos in shrink. So this is this is the this was kind of the 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 side. Now the real thing. But you know what? I, as a side note, even if you're like meh about the game, these boxes for this game the boxes are, are cool. amazingly cool. We actually use them for cool. storage. You do. I 
I because usually I don't keep like the little expansion boxes. In fact, yeah, I was gonna say we use it to hold dice in one of these because the magnet on these is oh, they're good. All, all the dice are all dumped out, right? Oh, now. they're all dumped out. Yeah, they're loose, so you'd make a big mess. <laughs> but again, it's oh, holding it shut. Yeah, that's our yeah, open it. Yeah, the right way. Are you gonna make a big mess? Yeah. <laughs> And it holds it shut. I'm super impressed with these. I love these. So it's almost like class. two gifts in one to people. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Crown Royal. Yeah, the Crown Royal bags are perfect. I, I've had so many gamer friends that use those for dice bags and stuff. And this, yeah. All right. So this is the the. <laughs> it, there's. It was added on to what I was what, what I really wanted, which is the next thing. What you really really want? Were you a spice what girl? What I really really want. Did you have a Spice Girl moment? Good lordy. Oh! Oh, this is the expansion, so that means that the what's left in the box is... <gasps> oh my goodness. Hipster guy with his smart tablet thing. Okay. Sweet. Check that out, peoples. Woo! Smartphone! So this is what I really bid on. So the, the Onitama was just a side note. A side note of greatness. This is the Arcane Wonders, the brand new version. This is somewhat, say... somewhat new. Version. I keep hearing lots and of things about it. the expansion just came out, I think, maybe. Let me peek at this. I don't know. This looks really cool. I, I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but I don't know much about the game itself. If well, then, sense. then why buzz. don't we... I've heard buzz. Why don't we... So, we have Hipster Boy. And he's got a smartphone, a.k.a. tablet, apparently, because that's how hipster he is. He, he has a tablet. And judging by the appearance of the board, he's trying to make a connecting flight somewhere using his smartphone. And it's complicated because what flight isn't anymore, especially if you have to stop, you know, if you have to stop layovers or anything. It's complicated, right? He's got... To, he cannot go through any agents. He's got to use his smartphone to make his flight. And apparently he's booking a complicated business trip. Sorry for the squeaky noises. I'm Kill, me Smalls. Kill me, crazy. Smalls. Kill me, Smalls. I'm trying to give an amazing review right now. You're, you have to open amazing. the whole thing up. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, so let's look at this. And this this amazing, see? See? Hipster boy. Okay. And, oh, screens. So we can hide our secret plans and travel. Maybe he's a secret agent. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's definitely a secret agent. Can you see that? Can... Of course you can't. You know why? Secret agent. What is Ninja. that? I don't know, but look, he's hidden. I know. He's it's... hidden. I don't know what... Shh. Shh. What, is... Sneak away. what is this? He sneaks undetected. That's so weird. Exactly. Secret oh, it's just agent. A random... I don't know why they put that on the back. It's just a random Because he's a board. secret agent. I have got this figured out. There is a lot of cardboard here for this. Oh, oh. Nondescript delivery truck. Uh, mysterious package. He gets paid for delivering goods. This is a mysterious business trip. Yep. More and more. There's a lot of information on his smartphone. <laughs> I am very suspicious of his that is ulterior a, that, that is motives. That is a massive board. Holy good goodness. Well, yeah, he's going cross country. There's a lot of connecting oh, it's all, flights. It's all, it's really cool. It's all uh, 3D. It's all... Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, seriously. That's cool. There will be no... See that? There's not going to be an instance Apparently of the tubes slipping out. That's, that's really cool. cool. That's very cool. Matt, but that's a thick board, but I guess you have to make it double layer. See? I don't that's, know if you guys can see that's all in It's all recessed. That yeah. is so cool. All the better to hold your secret plan secure. <laughs> I I stand by my... You don't stand want to talk by about my, the bits? Oh, there's more! There's more. Guys, there's more. There's a whole box. Oh. <gasps> this looks like one of those games. Okay. It's not in them yet, but they put... Individual bins yeah, for the players? Yeah, they've got bins. Oh, my gosh. I'm already liking... Mad props for you guys, Arcane, for making the nice storage solution here. That is cool. And that looks like it's just the bits for the player, the cubes. Yeah, there's all just the cubes. colored cubes. A bunch of cubes. They're nice and brightly colored. Yeah, no orange, though. So what do you think? I think that the hipster secret agent guy and his conne connecting flights is going to be quite mysterious, and I think it will be rewarding. All right, get this out of here. I'm not going to organize it. <laughs> Why did you put it on the lid? What? 
I don't know what just happened. This is. So there you go. Yeah. So I gave <laughs> I gave to charity for that, and it was split between the Dice Tower Jack Vassal and the. Oh, that's right. They they split the funds for the half the, went to uh, the BGG one. That I they can't. Did. It's the, it's like a it, it's like a. I can't think of what cooking it's school for. I don't know. Was so, it inner city? I don't know. Something? I can't remember. Now. Uh, it was really cool. Some kind of cooking yeah. school that they pay the tuition for people. Ooh, Palm Pilot the game. Palm Pilot. Yes. I bet you're right. They should have a prequel. That'd be good. Yeah, the double layer board. It's really good. It's really a. Fr you're right, Zaris. It's a front for international drug smuggling. Is that what it, it is? It could be drugs. We is don't know. Is that what it is? I haven't broken into to hipsters' briefcase right, yet. So let's so. quickly look at my Kickstarters. It's all let's, on let's, a let, smartphone. Let, let Rebecca have some kick, some, some sticker stuff. Phone. Shock. Sticker Ooh. shock. Ooh. I don't know if I want to see. Don't show me prices. <laughs> don't show you prices. <laughs> all right. Let's see what all I've backed recently. Here what, we go. What did I just see? Is that stuff you looked at or stuff you got? What was that? That list. It was a list. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a list of things. See, it's a good thing you guys are here because all I I wouldn't even see this stuff. It's gonna run a surprise, but of course, the way Kickstarter is going, you won't see them. Way Kickstarter is going in my brain. So how far back, we're, how far back are we gonna go? So, Let's go you know, back to things that we, we haven't fulfilled. New Zealand dollars. What? What did you buy from New Zealand? I don't know. Something. What was in New Zealand? Dude, he keeps scrolling fast. What is this nonsense? All right, here's all my unfulfilled Kickstarters. Here we go. Okay. So we got Anachrony, Fractures of Time, Expansion, and Infinity Box. What? So really, it's an infinity. It's but it's a big box to hold everything, and there's a mini expansion. Do we have room for another big box? I'm just saying. Okay. And then we got Raccoon Tycoon, which just got mailed to me. The Fat Cat expansion. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Have you guys played Raccoon Tycoon? If not, that's a good game. Then we got Merchant's Cove. Merchant's Cove. So this is a, um, it's a you're a merchant. You're, you're a merchant in a town, and you're selling certain goods. Is it in the Mediterranean? No. Oh. It's like a fantasy shop, and so everyone has their own little shop, and you you sell different stuff, and you got to try to get entice people to come buy your goods. And every shop is selling different things, so they have a different kind of different way to play. This just reminds me of the little economics lesson that Nessa had at her elementary school where they created random products and sold them to each other. Mm. I just, I don't know why. We got that. Dice Tower. Dice Tower, we always back to Dice Tower. Oh, okay. Then we got the Parks expansion. <gasps> they have an expansion already? Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, duh. I saw that. I think uh, Murph Brothers were And then we that. got uh, Trekking the World. So it's like Trekking the National Parks, except it's the world. Trekking the world. Oh, that makes me so happy. I love... Oh, the, okay, Parks and Trekking the National Parks. Those two games, their art, the way they... I, just those are cool games. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be cool. Then we got uh, Viscounts of the West Kingdom. From New Zealand? Apparently they ship out in New Zealand. Can we go pick it up personally and not come back? <laughs> I love New Zealand. Then, I don't know if Rebecca knows oh, about this one. The world's first building brick waffle, waffle maker. Did I tell you about that? No, I've seen this. It's like a le you make a Lego brick and you can build, stack them and Look. stuff. Dear Lord. <laughs> Show them the picture of this. Please share uh, this screen. See, you, is, you have see to if see I can, this. See if I can share my screen. Hold on. Insanity. Let's see if I don't know if I have a share a screen set up though. I finally get people to quit playing with their food, and this is what we come to. I can't. I don't think I have a. You can't a, share that. Oh, let's see. There we go. Yeah. Kind of. Share it. There's. It's. Oh. I, no, it's not on the screen. Uh. If we were running a Zoom media, I, I, I'll, I'll already be done. No, with it's this showing. Morning. It's showing. Oh, it's showing now. I'm okay. Pretty sure okay. it's showing. Okay, can you see that now? Just show the chat real quick to make sure. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a waffle maker thing. That's what in the world? Why? Your Texas shaped <laughs> waffles are not enough for you. You must build them. I, I, I like waffles. <laughs> the waffles did crash the internet. There we go. Hey, we're back. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> 
Our internet. Is it a patch or something? <laughs> <laughs> nope, not better. We may be done. No, crap. Yeah, it's not. Your Discord's trying to load. Would that bog it no. down at all? It should, well, it shouldn't. What the freak? Our internet's really weird. Yes, it was the waffles that was the last straw. All right, I think we're back. Okay, I did tell him during the technical difficulties. In his defense, I did let him live because, you know, since we're not going anywhere or doing anything, I guess it, it works in our budget quite well, doesn't it? I don't know what that was. Our internet just disappeared technical for a few minutes. Yeah. But we're back. Let's continue our tour. <laughs> Blame it on the waffles. That was some Stranger Things stuff. Maybe somebody was trying to send us a message. <laughs> the waffle maker? Yes, the waffle maker. <laughs> the ghost of the wa waffle maker <laughs> past. Oh, we're back. We're oh, I'm so back. glad you got... Thank you for staying with us and being so yeah. patient during the internet that, of... That's going to be doom. interesting after the fact. I'm going to blame it on Texas heat. It probably melted something <laughs> important somewhere. Um, it's not that hot. It's only 106 today or whatever it was. It's not bad. It's a dry heat. No, it's not a dry heat. Where'd you get that? Right, where was I? You were on stupid waffles. Oh, waffles. Oh, and then Aunt Gods of Egypt. Well, duh. Terraforming Mar Mars Big Box. You got that? Oh, Lord. Okay. Merchants of the Dark Road, which is a cool little... Uh, I don't remember what the game's about. It's a, It's like you, you're going around one plat. There's like two rondelles. There's like a... Uh, area where you're moving around town doing actions and then there's a, a place where you're journeying out and it's uh, supposed to be like really dangerous to travel and stuff. I can't remember what Ooh, all it's about. That sounds a lot like a, a, a Crown of Amara. Yeah. Like it's got two different things going on. That sounds pretty cool. And what else? That is so weird. The internet's... Like and last but... Uh, Dead Dead Reckoning. <laughs> yes! You got... Okay, I won't... I won't Dead Reckoning. That that's the card crafting uh, pirating game. Is and then I got... Yet? When is it coming? Uh, it's supposedly it's... May next year. Happy birthday to you. Then we got Lizard Wizard. <laughs> what? There's more? Yeah. It's like... It's a it's a kind of a sequel to Raccoon Tycoon. It's called Lizard Wizard. I don't even know where to start with that. I don't even know what to think about that. You know like Wizard... Lizard Wizard? Raccoon Tycoon and then Lizard, lizard wizard. wizard. Yeah. Seriously, who did that? See? What? See? No, don't show me. No. L Lizard Wizard. Oh, dear. The art is amazing. Show them the art. Can you show them the art? I, this is what killed us last time. Okay, then don't show them the art. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, go look up Lizard Wizard and look at the art. It is cool. Well, it's like Raccoon Cartoon is the same artist. That's, yeah. That it's all artist, the same people that, that did Raccoon Cartoon. Okay. Amazing art. And amazing then, art. and then. No, I, I, no, and then. And yeah, there's one, there's two more. Western Legends Blood Western Legends Western Legends Blood Money. Of course more Western Legends. I didn't even know there was more, but of course. That's supposedly like Supposedly it's the last game. expansion, supposedly. And then we bought we went all in crazy ultra deluxe for the Stefan Feld City Collection. Oh gosh. It's which is so, what people were talking about. Yes, it's, we, we It's so pretty, but so uh Okay. Well again Lizard Wizard why? Why is that? I, I I shudder to think what will follow that game. Lizard Wizard. Yes, Raccoon Tycoon Lizard. See you later. Yeah, after a while, Crocodile. <laughs> you know, I mean, like well, got, it's got to be like a profession, uh, animal and profession. So you got to think of a an animal like that rhymes with a profession. Don't even. <laughs> I I just. Those my Kickstarters. We could do a top ten of those. I'm sure. All right, so now it's a time. It has arrived. Hopefully, the internet will cooperate for our live play Ooh. of wavelength. Give me. What is the first word in the Scrabble dictionary? Uh uh. I'm guessing. Isn't that the Hawaii? It's one of the types of volcanic. You're rock. making stuff. No, I'm not. I'm not making that up. Ah uh, ah. Uh, like no, it's ah uh, ah. Uh. It's like the the ah 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 I knew where you were going with that. <laughs> All right, we're going to play some Wavelength. <laughs> Just for you guys, we're going to play the cooperative version. Just for you guys? Oh, yeah, because I don't do co-ops. I was quoting him. All I right, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait. 
for those of you who don't know what la wavelength is about, there is a little dial thing. Yeah, I don't know how to play, so. Yeah, yeah. See if you can get those open. Oh, jeez. I have literally, I, I chewed off my fingernails already. All right, so wait, 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 it's worse. Is you spin this little dial, spin it to randomize its location. If you open it up, maybe if you open it up, he broke it. You open it up. There's like a little, uh, uh, little range of points here. So you got two, three, and four points depending on how close you are. And what you do, you have a card. Oh, it's a good game. It's got orange. You have a card that gives you two kind of opposite things. So, for example, priceless and worthless. So for the example on this one, prices are worthless, I wanted to give a clue that points you towards this section of the board, so about two-thirds of the way up. So I would say something that's wor completely worthless is over here, something that is ultra-priceless. Priceless, okay, okay. So, so say it again now. If you so do... there's, there's a range. Okay, like I'll okay. open this up secretly, and I'll look at it, and I'll see this range. Okay. They'll have a card that has worthless to priceless. So yeah. from worthless all the way to priceless. Yeah. I kind of give you a clue to make you... Pick this area. So I oh, close, I, that's towards I the close this and I would say something. So it's it's kind of two thirds of the way. So it's something that's kind of. So I would say. Um, a yacht. And then you would take and go, hmm, how, how, where, where do I think a yacht would be? So you move this little dial. Where would you put a yacht? Uh, it's expensive not priceless well, there you go i didn't take it so it was priceless you don't want it to be completely priceless so let's say she picks like there all right and then we open it up and i mean and you get whatever close. point whatever points the uh, dial is on i just hope this doesn't play like medium because i was terrible at that game <laughs> and that's kind of the whole game in a in a uh in a Ooh, beanie baby in a competitive question. version we would you would go back and forth <laughs> They even put my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be priceless, dude. Oh, so so you priceless. Yeah, it should be all the way, right? Or maybe just close. Oh, 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 okay. So okay. So the way it would work in teams is that you would, the, each team, each team would have would take their they would rotate clue givers on their their team, and they would give a clue, okay. and then their team decides among them among them where they're going to put the little bar. Oh, okay. And then the other team can say if they think it's going to be. Oh, like uh, this side or this side? Okay. This side or this side? If you get it exactly right, the team, other team doesn't get anything. But if the team is right and saying that you were wrong, which direction you were wrong, they get a point. Otherwise, you get whatever points of the location you're at. So that's the whole game. You play until someone scores ten points and the game's over. Um, but there is a cooperative version which we're going to play, so you guys can help help. Um, the way it's going to work, the way we're going to play tonight is that Rebecca and I are going to take turns giving each other clues. Oh lord! All right. So in the in the in the co-op version, you get seven cards, and if you ever get uh, the four points, which is the the exact right, if you get four points, you get to add a card to your seven. So if you ever get it exactly right, you get to add a, a card to your seven. So you go, normally you go through seven cards. Okay. But if we ever get an exacto, we get to add another card. And we add up our points. When we run out of cards, the game's oh, okay. over. Okay. And okay. you get however many points we get. We get, and there's a little uh, kind of a scoring. I don't know where the rules ended up. Rules are right here. Oh. There's, a, there's a little scoring thing at the end, and uh, depending on how you do, um, you get a, a rating on how well you do. So. <laughs> there's little heads. Yeah, so what you do with <laughs> the this, heads. Where's this go? This is the, if you think it's going to be on the left or the right. Oh, uh, Okay. Okay. Of the, of the oh, okay. Thing. Oh, and here's where you put the card. So what, what you can do, so what, what we're going to do this is the person that's, that's guessing can use the chat to help them. Okay. Um, Nick had a good question. Is yes. it by clock position or degrees? I would say clock would probably be easiest for us. Right? Oh, yeah. If you want, no, if you want, if you want, no, we do degrees. Um, so if you, if you uh, so are start helping, here? Help it, it goes from zero to 100. 180? We're going to do just 0 to 100. So 0, well, halfway, degrees, halfway is 50, and this is 100. Percentage. Just do a percentage. Oh, Lord. I, that's zero, not degrees. 0, 100, 50. You got that? 0, I feel like I'm talking to students. 25, 50, 75, 100. 0 to 100. <laughs> See what I'm dealing with here. There you go. Huh. So, <laughs> any other questions before we start? Um, 
Paul says he's all in on the failed Kickstarter and he blames you. <laughs> the, 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 the deluxe versions look amazing. They do. They look ridiculous. That's the only amazing. reason I say Amazing. And they, and, uh, um, they, 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 approved the, they improved the games. They, they basically, Stephen Feld went back, revisited all the games, and made changes to kind of, I don't know if modernize is the right word, but to streamline the game and make them better. And yeah. and the components are, are blow the I mean, the components we have for the brews and Macau are like eighties game components basically. They're like old like cardboard shits and this one has if you get the deluxe oh, version it has meeples oh, and all sorts of craziness. Alright. Alright. <laughs> so Okay, um oh how are we describing the selection? Oh, Nick, that was the cl- okay, you were doing the clock position degrees. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know if we do the left or right thing in the cooperative version. I'll make look. <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing with the chat about degrees. <laughs> Alright, so here's the changes for the co-op. Um, the center wedge is only worth three, so you never score four. What? This, why does but, it say four? But if you get the center, this is the co-op version. Normally, the, this is the co-op. If, if you get the center, though, you get to add the card. That's the benefit of oh, getting okay, the center. Okay, okay, okay. And we don't okay. do the left and right guessing because we're working as a team. We're not We're not working against each other. So, okay. So we're going to just do this scoring track, and we'll go 10, and then if we do more, we'll go over here. Yeah. If we get over 20, then we'll throw a party. Distantly. All right. With masks. So you want me to go first since I know how to play? made food. <laughs> So I'm going to randomly cut the deck. Hey, hey funny. What? <laughs> oh, I like it. Let's do that one. No! Oh, that, 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 that's cheating for next week. What? Our that's not action. cheating. Oh, I should have. That'll be the ender. Too. One, two, North, three, North four, East. five, six, seven. <laughs> there's, our se- there's, our se- there's our seven cards. Okay, okay. All right, you so, got our seven cards. So I'm going to take the dial. So just so you know, this is what you need to do. You just you randomize it. Okay. You spin it. And then you look at it. And it's not on there. <laughs> you take a little, I laugh so hard. Take a peeky peek. I'm looking where you're looking. Oh, that's true. I got I will re-randomize it. I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> cheater. You're a big cheater. That's the only way I cheat in Clue. You already know this. I cheat in Clue. Uh, I'll stay I cheat right at the one center. One game only. Otherwise, it's horrible. Stay right at the center so you never know. And that's Clue. Because I'm terrible at it. All I right. Never win. Here we go. And I wasn't looking at you. And our okay. Clue is... Least powerful god, most powerful god. Ooh. That's our clue. Okay. okay. Hey, let me look again. Don't look at me. Uh, but the, the audience... I'm looking can... straight ahead. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So, my clue is... Okay, so we have least powerful over here. Least powerful. At, at zero. Powerful. And then at 100, we have most powerful. I'm going to say... Aries. Okay, now this is bad. Aries. Because have you Shh. have you read? I can't talk. I can't say anything else. Has he read the Iliad? Have you read the Iliad? Ah. Uh, Feel free to help her out. Good thing we don't live in a monotheistic society. It's lowercase gods. We're good. <laughs> I, I was like. <laughs> um. So if we're a bit off, that would be six degrees of separate... Stop! What's with the... Oh, no, you guys in the Kevin Bacons. Yeah, like 80 to 85. See, if you read the Iliad, he gets wounded in battle and cries like a baby and whines to Zeus about it. I would put him in the 40s. You guys are putting him like 80, so I don't know. See, Percy Jackson agrees with me. Go with the 80s? All right. Yeah, he's definitely not higher. He's definitely not higher. I agree. Mm, 80s... What do you guys think if I... 33. See? <laughs> Troll, this is why I love you. Okay. Um, so somewhere in the ballpark between 33 and 85. Good job, guys. We narrowed it down. Hunter didn't read the Iliad. Yeah. Actually, I did in uh, did. college, yeah, but that did. was uh, a long time ago. It was like a... Wasn't it a mythology survey class Classical kind of thing? Uh, literature Yeah, it sounded kind of cool. Yeah. Um, ooh, man. I didn't read the whole thing. We only read sections. Because we covered a lot of books. Seventy. See, okay. What do you guys think, I, Mary? I was leaning towards that. It's kind of like a compromise. What do you guys think about seventy-five percent? We'll just slice it three fourths. What do you guys think seventy-five? 
I'd go for that. Now, if he'd said Thor or something, I'd be like, 99. Nine. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> 34. Neutral, you're not good at that whole negotiating thing there. <laughs> good. Zaris, yes. Always agree with Mary. That's a smart move. <laughs> if you want to lose, Buki. You guys, right, do this. You guys don't work well pick. with the team. Pick. All right, I'm going to pick. All right. I'm going to go with 78 just to mess with you people. I want to see you find 78 on that. 78 on that. Well, that's probably... All right, let's see. So there's three-fourths. What do you think? What do you think, guys, about there? What do you think? I always agree with Sarah's neutral. (laughs) You guys are so good at muddying the waters thing. All right, we're going with this because you people aren't helping. (laughs) All right, reveal. So it's this, right? Yep. Oh! Okay, we would have gotten if what, we, Was it on nothing? It was on nothing. If we had gotten it right the way you guys were talking... He's the we god of to. war, people! But he's a freaking panther. I don't care! He's the god of war! He's whiny! War. I disagree... No, war. I disagree with you. War. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, Alright, so you've got... Boring person and fun person. <laughs> so many things. Oh, I gotta close this. Okay. <laughs> now don't look at it when you open it. Huh? I got. I got you one better. I'll do it off screen, suckers. Okay. Boring person and boring a, person to fun person. A boring person to a fun person. But who? I guess I'm gonna have to pick somebody. I don't even know. You have to go with uh, celebrities or something, I so know, that people, so they can follow along. I know. You want to veto that one? Since it's Ooh. that one's more personal, let's veto yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, it. I don't, and that's such a matter of opinion. All right, we'll do this one. This is perfect. We'll oh, do the back. Oh dear. Okay. It's a uh, underrated book, overrated book. <laughs> okay. Of course, now you got to pick a book I would know. Oh gosh. <laughs> Good luck. Underrated book, overrated book. Can I pick a series? I don't care. Feist series. The Feist series. Yeah. Wow. So Feist, the magician, you guys know that that's book series? Pug the magician. It's one of my all time favorite book series. See, this feels subjective to me because all right, you're not supposed to talk. Silence! <laughs> so it's one of my all-time favorite book series, but... Don't, I don't pick the alien. <laughs> but, but, I don't know how many people know about it. So I would think she thinks it's underrated, because it's not as well-known as some of the bigger names. So, what do you guys think? You guys know what this series? The Rift War Saga? Feist. Twilight. <laughs> Old Testament. <laughs> Either picking books. No, like, out. no. So, you know, that no one knows what this is, so it's, it proves it's underrated. So, I'm going to go with about 20 or 25%, unless you guys tell me otherwise. Where's Kabuki? Oh, you haven't read it. Oh, I told you, man. But you put that on your list, man. Way underrated. All right, I'm going to go for it. No, I'm not getting any feedback. No one knows. No one knows what this is. I'm going to go there. Is that your final answer? Final answer. I think you might. I don't know. I mean, I thought some of you guys would have known. No, it's way underrated. Almost no I think one... it is way underrated. I do. But I didn't Not think it was that, that under... underrated. I, th- I thought it was such a huge series that people knew about it. But apparently I've been on People, we aren't doing much. very well. This is sad. It's more fantasy. 
sci than sci-fi, but it's got the sci-fi elements because it's cross-planetary and cross-generational. It's it's very interesting, but it's very. Oh, I don't. I almost want to put it more fantasy than sci-fi, wouldn't you? All right. I feel like it's more fantasy. Than All sci-fi. right. I got my. I got my. It's, it's my not, wheel. It's not random. It's. It's like twenty. All right. Bucks. Worst chore, best chore. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. This is your opinion. Okay. Worst chore, best chore. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me think about this. Worst chore, best chore. I don't either, Kabuki. I don't like to mix fantasy and sci-fi necessarily, but this is fantastic. Let's see. I was not expecting it. Worst chore, best chore. Worst chore, best chore. I'm going to have to go with... Just to see what she puts. This is this, this is just more feeding my curiosity. We're probably going to score zero you points. You can't apologize. It's okay, Mary. You don't need to apologize. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Dusting the game shelves. <laughs> Dusting the game shelves. Dusting the game shelves. You think that's a 95? Okay, Kabuki thinks it's a 20, and Nick thinks it's a 95. Oh my gosh. Oh man, dusting sucks. I I feel like dusting sucks. I feel like Hunter Yeah, it's must, from worst to best. Worst worst to best. I feel like Hunter probably hates it too. Although if he's going to dust anything, it would be this room. Other than that, I'm trying to remember except for when we were dating if you've ever dusted anything. That was one of the first things to go. <laughs> Dusting the game show. It is easy chore, but like I have crazy dust issues with allergies, so when I do it, I have to like load up on Benadryl and crap. Um, and that too, neutral. As soon as you finish, it's just dusty again. Blah. Especially if you have kids and pets. Um, hmm. No figs. Okay, now. There, I have to disagree with you, Nick. It does involve physical exertion if you actually are moving the items to dust instead of just doing the little foof in the front of everything on the shelves. Mm. Yeah, you have to move everything around. Zeris is waxing philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, working together cooperatively is not our best thing with this game I, I've seen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say. We'll try teams next well, time. I was going to say teams is definitely... Oh. Don't try to read me. <laughs> That's all I got, man. The only thing I've ever seen you dust is this room. I... <laughs> dust in the wings. I'm going to have to say it's probably down, like, here. What do you guys think? As... It, not like the worst chore. It's it's kind of close to the middle. It's not his worst chore. I mean, best chore. Because your best chore... Dishes? I don't know. I, I, I think all chores suck, so they should all be on worst chore. Ooh. Does Hunter feel the same way? <laughs> You're thinking way too much. Does Hunter use a Swifter? Nope. What do you think? I, I, they're useless. That's you guys are answer? not helpful. Yes. So here's the thing. When I dust the game shelf, what do I get to do? Reorganize the game. So it's your best chore. <laughs> you can't move it, but it's way over here. Yeah, of course. I got to reorganize the games when I dust. It's I one of my known. favorite things to do. Well, let's put it, not dusting in general. Dusting the game room is one of your favorite things to do. True. The rest of the house. That's why I said game shelves. Uh, okay. We are, not, okay. we are not good at this game. <laughs> this is the best. Here's all, you got an easy one. Blue is and... Is it blue or does it suck? That's a good point, Mary. Blue and green. Green, 
No, no blue, blue and green. Blue is at zero, green's at 100. Blue and green. Please don't make this hard on me, little wheel. Please, please. I potentially please. kind of found an easy one, maybe. I'm going to pick some obscure color name. And I know, know I'm not going to know it. Dear Lord. <laughs> Algae. Algae's really green. Is there not green? I guess there's all kinds of colors, right? Algae's really green, right? Right? It's got to be like crazy green, right? There's not much blue in algae. Is there? Oh, no. Kabuki, don't say there's blue-green algae. Exactly 50%? Oh, crap. Hey! Silence! No, I'm just... Awkward. Uh, I gotta think it's gotta be like way over here, guys. Like crazy green, right? Right? Maybe? My last name is Moss, so I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right there. <laughs> go with neutral. <laughs> what? He says, my last name is Moss, so I'm a professional. 95%. <laughs> I'm going there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's a four! <laughs> it's a four! Woo! As soon as Kabuki brought that up, I'm like, he's only going to think of green algae. And I'm like, oh, no! <laughs> we got three green. points! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> hey, go. We're trying cough. to throw wrenches in the work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I almost wish this was teams instead of because <laughs> I'd be like sometimes. dirt. <laughs> All right, I got my, I got my, oh, got my number. This is best. This is the best. Okay. All right, <coughs> we got nerd. We got nerd and jock. <laughs> nerd and jock. Nerd, jock, and my clue is. Oh no, Hunter Thomason. That's jock side. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a little jock in there. He LARPs. We'll put him there. <laughs> Hunter <laughs> Thomason. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Negative one. Hunter's a five. Yeah, see, what what do I have it at? Ten, maybe? Should I should I knock it down to five, you guys? What do you think? Point zero one. Point zero one. <laughs> no one's arguing with me for a gamer oh blood bowl for a gamer that's at least 50 <laughs> larps and blood bowl that's what i'm saying like eh. no he didn't play no sports, sports. no nope. but he larped constantly no way in my 20s and your 30s and some mm. of your 40s. No. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And you run around like a loon when you're All right, what's too. your final answer? I think that's my final answer. That's your final answer? What class? What class did you play? I played, uh, played Templar rogue. and a Rogue and a Warrior and I think that's it. <laughs> I think my number stands. Is that your answer? Hunter does spreadsheets for fun. Should I click it down a notch? Is that what you're saying? I think that's my answer. That's your final answer? Yeah, I think that's my answer. Let's see come on, come on. Yeah! Almost dead on, baby. Yeah, three. Yeah! Woo! Not too bad. <laughs> Texas too requires a base 25% jock for citizens. <laughs> well, <laughs> we've been kicked out. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, this is great. All right, this so game is great, you yeah. got expected Expecto and Patrona? unexpected. Expected and unexpected? What if I just say pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> Could be anything then. <laughs> Sounds like a duck or something. Alright. We've got three questions unless we get a exacto left. Alright, so expected versus unexpected. <laughs> I wish 
<laughs> I can't what? say what I want to say. What? <laughs> Nothing. Um. Okay. Expected is at zero. Unexpected. And unexpected is at a hundred. So. Free shipping. <laughs> Internet connections. 2022. Quarantine baby. <laughs> Kickstarter. Man, you guys are good. <laughs> um, I know, I know, I know. Texas weather in the summer. Mm. <laughs> Pretty consistent with the occasional thunderstorm. I'm going to say it's pretty high. I'm going to say it's pretty high. Now she said spring Texas weather. That's crazy talk. Because <laughs> it goes like 32 degrees. Tornado. Tornado. <laughs> 90 degrees. 75 degrees and sunny. Freezing. Snow. Sleet. Oops. Sorry, lady. 95 degrees. I think it's pretty. I'm uh, pretty high. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up in this range somewhere. That's unexpected. Oh, it's over in this range somewhere. We're going from expected to unexpected. You think it's high? You think it's way up here? We need think... low. I think they got it backwards. I had it backwards. Well, a neutral's putting the temperature. <laughs> 120 degrees. <laughs> I think you got it backwards. We, the, the the expected's over on this side. <laughs> yeah, I think it's up in this range somewhere. Kabuki said, oh, 15% then. Yeah, I think it's somewhere in this range. 30, <laughs> Mary, that's how 30, I sum up the weather 30, sometimes 15, too. I'm crappy. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to go, any, any final answers? Final answers? 106. I'm going to go right... 12 degrees of bacon. <laughs> well, thing is, the thing is... This is coming from her, and she consistently complains about it's hot every single day. So I'm going to bump it one more this way. <laughs> final answer. That's your final answer? Final answer. I really, really wanted it to be unexpected so I could do the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh three points. Didn't get the four in the middle one, but we got three. One, I was going to say, we had, a, we had a cold front where it was only in the 80s. Oh, pretty good. So, pretty good. you know. Shouldn't have, I shouldn't have bumped it down that, 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 that notch. You know, that's true, Zaris. Expect the weather, because when there's no weather, there's problems. That's that's true. Although, in Texas, when there is weather, that also means there's problems. So, eh, you kind of toast that What's way. What's the difference between weird and strange? <laughs> I use those words interchangeably. A lot of people do. Strange is usually... Right. Well, you can do that with weird, too. It, some people have a more negative connotation for one over the other. But again, we use those pretty interchangeably. I'm curious. What do you guys think about that? Weird and strange? Which one would you take more positive? All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Look, look at this one. Similar and identical. I, they're trying to kill us. All they're, right. They're trying to kill us. I'm going to do this one, though. Similar and identical? We're going to go bad Disney character, good Disney character. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Does that mean... Good guy, bad guy? That's what I'm interpreting. Crappy and good ones. That's what I'm interpreting. Oh, so it's just good versus evil? Yes. Oh, this will be easy. But I don't know any (laughs) Disney characters, so it's going to be exciting. Doctor Strange was better than. Yes. Okay, Zaris, by that logic, I would agree. Strange has to be put more positive than weird. I, I follow that. One side is harder than the other, sort of like expert ones. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's true. That's you're right. That's definitely. We need to be the newbie. You're not guys. supposed to discuss the qualifications ahead of time. Well, that's no fun. Right, cancel we don't that have one. a debate. I'm gonna cancel that one. Deadpool would be fifty. All right, we're we'll gonna talk about it. <laughs> these are these are personal ones. We can't do personal ones. What's the what's the more difficult side? Oh, it says advanced. <laughs> there's a lot. Oh, these are all advanced cards we're playing with. That's why we're having such problems. <laughs> we're playing with the hard cards. That's what, we're so good, guys. We're even doing. All right, we're gonna switch gears and go to the easier cards. We're gonna play with the difficult cards. As the cards night progresses, on. we switch to the easier stuff. <clears throat> uh, <I can't laughs> Who picked 
this game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I love All it. All right, we're going to do this one. Temporary okay. and permanent. Hey, now, okay, we're not going to argue about the definitions there. Okay. Fun That's funny. We were, we were playing right. the advanced cards this whole She's time. She's already going to bed. No, no, re- no reason. No, no wonder we're getting destroyed. <laughs> we're playing the difficult cards. We're all like weird and strange. I'm like, it's, it's the same thing. All right. I mean, the way. I didn't even look at what it was. You're so good that you think this game is about you. <laughs> Let's get personal. That will be epic. Oh, goodness. No, that sounds like a good game night thing, right? <laughs> Do all the personal. Te- te- we're doing temporary to permanent. Temporary to permanent. Okay, so zero is temporary, 100 is permanent. All right. All right. Mm. Do something corny. Yeah. Temporary to permanent. Um, this is another one where you're going to say our marriage and then I smack you. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's on the per- more, more, more permanent side? More of a permanent side? Hmm, you didn't redeem yourself there. <laughs> hmm. Face tattoo? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Face tattoo. <laughs> Aw, neutral put live. Spanish Inquisition. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, temporary. I'm trying to think of something. This is hard. I know. Some of these are hard on the fly. That's why I think next time we're going to be competitive. Then we can laugh at you if you get it wrong instead of being like, oh, you brought the whole team down. <laughs> hey, we'll, 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 make, we'll make it. We'll make it. Uh, we'll make it. Uh, uh, what is it? Appropriate to the to this evening. Oh, dear. Internet problems. Well, those are those are temporary. They don't last. Internet problems. I mean, it's not a internet con- problem. It's not as a, a silent raccoon. Happy family. Oh, paper or plastic? <laughs> wow, that's dark. <laughs> it is. I, I'm thinking that's more temporary, right? Fifteen? Yeah. Okay. So about like eh, there ish. What do you guys think? Does that look about right? Can you see the line? Yeah, you can see it on there. What do you think? Yours or Tommy's? Ouch! <laughs> oh, this one could get me in trouble. This, this one second. get me in trouble. Oh no! Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. He had useless major or useful major. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, no one's arguing. Okay. All right, flip it. What? Oh, I got two points. Okay. Woo. Two points. <laughs> From the way the camera angle was, I couldn't see the yellow. Right, we're trying to find our second to last one. Yeah, it's very temporary in this grand scheme of things. Stealing Kabuki's number. <laughs> or this one. You can do this one. Oh. Bad TV God. show, good TV show. Jeez, the dog. What's <laughs> all Just that? What? <laughs> Bad TV oh, show, her name good is TV show. <laughs> Bad TV show, good TV show. That's so subjective. I guess we'll go by... Bad TV show, good TV show. Game of Thrones. I've never seen it. I'm going to assume you mean it's good. Game of Thrones, I've, I've never seen it. I intentionally waited until it was over, and but I never got around to watching it yet. I assume it's good. Which season? <laughs> it's true. I don't know. I, I'm gonna go. I'm in this range, maybe. Maybe. I don't know why you picked a show I've never seen. We can't discuss our reasoning. Kabuki said. Starts off at ninety, ends at five. Dang! <laughs> so what I should do is, as she's revealing, I should lower my rating. 
That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. How much do we all make from YouTube? <laughs> I think I calculated our, our amount we get for hour of work at like five cents an hour. So that should give you an idea. We make That's about, more than I thought. I thought we'd make like a cent an hour. We make about five cents an Look at hour. Us. We're mad. Work. Mad rich. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up in this range. Unless you guys can veto me. Eighty. 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 It's about eighty. We'll go there. Done. Eighty. Reveal. I feel like Dana White. Look at that! Right on, baby. Woo! You get a card. Most people talk favorably about it, except for ranting about the ending, which seemed to be a conversation piece. So I was going off of you guys. You know, there you go. Try to find another one. You killed me, dude. <laughs> How long are we playing this? I'm not... Then we got a free card because we got the. Oh, Azacto. oh, we got one. One. Two. Okay. We got a Zacto, so we get a free card. There we go. This is this is a good one. Nailed it. All right, so it's my turn. I'm going to do this one. What is this one? Underrated game, overrated game. Oh, Lord. I kept that one, even though it's a it's a harder one. Well. Underrated game, overrated. No, game. this is according to Hunter, so we got to keep that in mind. Well, it could be according to you. It depends on which angle I'm going. Oh. <laughs> Tapestry, Dominion. <laughs> This is great. This game's fun. If nothing else, you could start an evening by just playing one question of Wavelength and then just enjoy the discussion that would follow, right? <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Mm. <laughs> right. That's right. pretty much where we're at right now. Oh, the wheel has spoken. <laughs> Underrated, overrated. Okay, okay. Which is which is a great segue. Our next top ten is overrated games. So this could this game could appear on my top ten potentially. Seafall. Unless it's underrated. <laughs> what am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Let's do let's do There's smoke. Azul. Oh, Hunter thinks that's vastly overrated. So that's like Azul is my answer. That's 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 Hunter. Now we're working cooperatively, so I'm assuming that's what he's going for. If we were teams, he'd try to go off of what I think. I feel like this is the poison in front of me kind of thing. <laughs> and the clue would poison be in front of me, and then he'd be over here where I think it'd be a little more in the middle. But I think he's uh yeah, he said Azul, so it's the first one. Yeah. It's the first Azul. <laughs> so this game is... That's true. The components don't explode or give you radiation poisoning. Should I kick it up a little notch there, Zeris? There, I'll give you a couple ticks just to... There's a Wavelength Twitter account that shows a percent and everyone replies to items at that location. That is glorious. I'm going to go hunt that down. After the stream tonight. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys think? Yeah, and he sort of gave too much info talking about the overrated game that may appear on his list. Oh yeah, I, I guarantee that that's gonna be on his list, right? Well, maybe not now, just because he's gonna throw us off. But yeah. you done? You said you were done. Reveal it. What do you think, guys? I think I think we're good. You Reveal we're it. Good? Higher. Oh, neutral. I don't know if I trust you, you troll. <laughs> One tick. Just for troll. No! No! <laughs> They're all saying higher. Oh, crap. There? I don't think he's going to go crazy, guys. All right, I I'm stopping there. You guys are making like 85. Yeah, we're about 85. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's kind of hard to see the glare. What do you think about there? I think the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. You guys are saying higher. I don't I don't know. Oh, you guys were right. It was a little bit higher. So three points. Oh, next time I'll listen to you. Three points. Oh, that hunter. One, two, three, that one, wily, two. sneaky hunter. All right. See what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're at our last. We're at our last <laughs> card, unless we get an exacto. Okay, exacto. And it's cheap 
to expensive. Cheap to expensive? And we got, we, our, our first seven cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, our first seven cards were all the advanced cards, so. Okay, so cheap is zero, expensive is over there. Right, cheap, cheap, too expensive. Trying to think of what to be. Free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Internet. <laughs> That's pretty expensive. War of the Ring Collector's Edition. See, you guys, you guys know what's up. Okay. Um. They're going all board games. They are going all board games. Oh. No. What? What? No, we're still good. We're still good. Okay. The internet's trying to be stupid. Trying to be, but we're good. Micro game. A micro game? Yes. That's like way over here somewhere, right? Micro game. It's not free. Micro game's like ten bucks. That's really. Well, there's there's a lot of things that are less than ten dollars. So I'm thinking maybe right there, maybe, maybe, maybe less. 10%, you think? 20%. Because there are a lot of things that are less than $10 in the world. There's a whole lot of things that are more than $10 in the world. <laughs> Is this your, like, philosophy on... <laughs> so, in that, in that thing, cheapest, then it would be here. That's true, Julio. If you put all... If you lined up everything that you can buy in the world... Where would ten dollars be? You see where I was going with this entire conversation thing, right? Like, this. where where would the ten dollars be if you if you took everything you could nice, purchase? Nice neutral. But then you gotta think all the things in the world that are free. And that's a lot of things that are free, and that's very inexpensive. What? <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. I'm on right there. All right, you're final right. answer. I hope you guys helped with that. They did. They said... No, they were saying stupid things, but... What did we get? You're not too bad. Three. Not too bad. You got a three. All right. That's our final score. 20 points. <laughs> and we got seven advanced we cards. We clearly played this exactly how it was meant to be. <laughs> seven advanced cards, and we scored 20 points. Let's see what the game three says. Three is not cheap. That's for sure. Let's see what the game says we did. From 19 to 21 points... <laughs> I need to get water. <laughs> 19 to 21 points, you're on the same wavelength. wavelength. <laughs> so, here's the, here's the scoring track. 0 to 3, are you sure it's plugged in? <laughs> 4 to 6, try turning off and on again. I'm like 7 this. to 9, blow into the bottom of the device. 10 to 12, not bad, not great, but not bad. 12, 13 to 15, so close. <laughs> 16 to 18, you won. Nice. 19 to 21, you're on the same wavelength. wavelength. 22 to 24, galaxy brain. And 25 plus is just three mind-blown emojis. I like that. So we did really well. And we played the advanced cards. Yeah. Like, our two, freebie, like our two freebies time. we earned were the basic cards, but everything else was advanced cards. <laughs> The two freebies we got were basic cards. The rest were advanced cards. Yeah, jiggle the handle. Yeah, I know, like the jiggle all the hand. different. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna put these on the bottom of each stack. I'm just thinking that IT show. <laughs> Every time they answer the phone, the first thing out of their mouth. Have you tried turning it on and off again? <laughs> yeah. That's that's before they even say hello. Yeah. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Well, there oh, you go. Gosh. That's wavelength. That was kind of cool. That's this would be great for a party game. Oh my gosh! Again, I still because then you can do inside be... jokes and stuff like oh, yeah, that also, when you're playing and, with and your like, game group. And like or whatever, Mary was right? saying, yeah, with your game group, you can make this personal and it could get oh, hilarious. There's, there's a little. There's, or there's um. There's a little um. There's a little area down here we can put the ones we've used down yeah, there. Look at you, all smarty then, pants. Look at me get stuff stuck where it's not supposed. I like to this go. one. Normal greeting, weird greeting. That is. <laughs> 
That's that sums up us. <laughs> oh man, Norman greeting. We agree. Oh man, this is gonna be. Re yes, kinetic reset. Hit it with a hand. You know, you've got the. You should have written the ranges right, so these for this. Go Mary. That's, that's over good. here. Hamster reboot. <laughs> Put these over here. Oh these man! Guys over here. So uh, yeah, I'm a fan of this game. I'm yeah, it's gonna be fun uh, with uh, like I said. If you I get, think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be more interesting when you do like I say you just inside jokes dinner. and stuff. Huh? Bring it out at dinner time, and then whatever ensues after the first round is just conversation. And we can play this. We can play this non gamers easy. Oh yeah, this is well, and, and uh, somebody was saying in the the uh, chat that there's actually a Twitter account that. Does, does wavelength like wavelength. Wavelength. I'm going to go and find that now because the... that just sounds hilarious of just putting, kind of like what the chat was doing, picking items that would go in that range, whatnot. That's, that's hilarious. Have you tried kicking it? <laughs> that sounds like the old oh, school. Fun. I like it. This is awesome. I like playing this with you guys, although I want to try it competitively now because we're almost destroying each other. Playing <laughs> it go up. <laughs> no, we got a really good score. We... <laughs> Once we filtered out all the, the nonsense and tried to read what was going on with your weird mind games and stuff, and I don't know, I'm just saying. We got a good score. We did good. <laughs> we could have had three mind blown emojis. So the way I was way I was considering doing it, but it'd be it would take it would take a little bit longer. Is that, that. there we'll would be there would be a Rebecca team and a Hunter team in the chat, Ooh, and yes. there would be a spokesman person for each of us, and Ooh. then there whoever was working with Rebecca team would. Give percentages, and then the other per the team leader would be the final answer, and then we would move the bar to whatever percent. And I'd actually mark. I was going. That's the reason I didn't do it that way. I'd, I'd yeah, put, you put, put marks on it to where all the, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, because you can put a dry erase marker on that. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be perfect, and we could actually make it more exacting for right. the next time. That'd be fun. I'm game. I'm game. Pun intended. All right. So next time, next Tuesday, we're doing our top ten. We are. Overrated games. <laughs> Will Azul be on Hunter's list? And it's going list? to be. We kind of me and Rebecca. Rebecca's like, oh, I don't know how to do that, and I showed her how <laughs> I was going to do it, and she and we're like, it's going to be controversial, folks. <laughs> you ready for some fighting? There's going to be. There's going to be fight, words. Fight, fight, fight. There's going to be words, and that's just between us. Let alone what you guys are going to contribute in the chat. It's going to be glorious. So be ready. To there throw is some. Down. There is some. Uh, yeah, I already saw some, some of Hunter's possibilities for picks. And they're big name games. And yeah, I guarantee you guys are going to want to throw down with him. It's going to be great. Oh man, Azul might make the list. It was one of the ones we mentioned. It was one of the ones he mentioned. And I'm like, dude, you, I, the first, as soon as he started putting his list, I was like, no, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm curious what your list would be though. That's, I'm curious. I'll never tell. I guess I'll Until have next to. Tuesday. That's right. <laughs> If there's War of the Ring, we will riot. Oh, you know he wouldn't put War of the Ring. That it is. is it, it's underrated more than it's overrated. Yeah, I was going to say. It's, only, it's down to 12 now, I think. What? Ugh. <laughs> not even the top 10. Get <laughs> out the pitchforks. I think it's down to 12. Go to PGG headquarters. Riot, riot. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right, let's get out of here. It is already 10 o'clock. Sorry, sorry for the internet issues. Uh, luckily, it cleared up pretty quickly. I love how I love how it has viewers. And it went. Whoop. It was like like you know, kind of went up really fast because we always everybody logs in and, yeah, yeah, and checks yeah. in. Then, it, then it's kind of like even, even, even. And the viewers went. Whoop. <laughs> Gee, when did the internet drop? And then it's whoop, right back, back up. up. <laughs> oh, thanks for bringing that up, YouTube. <sighs> Sensitive subject. You all have a lovely evening, rest of your day, night, morning whatever this happens to be. And we shall see you in a week's time. Farewell, yawn chat. Farewell. Bye! We're on the same wavelength. wavelength. <laughs>